So, Theo, James Trafford to Bolton. How do you feel right now? Ecstatic, to be honest with you. I can't believe what's going on. I just remember him in a City shirt three years ago when we first met him. So, today we have Trafford, the man himself. Do you want to tell the camera who you are? Basically, I'm a Bogdan's twin. <laughs> you also play for the City Academy, so... Wow. Yeah. Watch out for the big man track. I have a look at, like, who is a footballer? It's mad. He plays for Man City and he's called James Trafford. When the official England account posted Meet the Next Generation, three keepers, the first one being James Trafford, the Man City keeper. I got tagged about a hundred times saying, is this you, Thogden? Never knew you were a keeper. People say I look like you. Have you got a message to them? Um, I don't know what to say, really. Fair enough. Was it going to be for a video? Yes, it was, lad, but you were too slow to reply. Well, I saw it when you first sent it, and I've been thinking of a good reply, but I just couldn't think of it. Whereabouts are you from? Bolton? Originally, now I live in London, lad. What about you? Originally from the Lake District, moved to Manchester. If you want to ever come to a City game, just tell us. If you ever fancy doing, like, a football challenge, because I'm the greatest penalty to take out ever at a Sunday League level. And guys, that's fact. He said, I'll be up for it. I'll see about that. Penalty challenge with my twin. <laughs> Yesterday, I messaged James Trafford for a game of FIFA. And he said yes. First game against James Trafford, we lose 3-6 to bloody Carlisle United. Second game and oh, boom. There we go, 1-0 win with Bayern. I mean, look at the stats, that's dominance right there. When he doesn't have Carlisle United on roids, I beat him. Right, we're having a decider here, Argentina versus France. And as you can tell from my Instagram story, it's an easy decider win. 2-0 up the boys, that's the misery compiler. Do you have like a favourite YouTuber? I like Fogden. There's been some talk that you look like Fogden. Have you ever <laughs> yeah. heard that before? Yeah, it was the, when I got picked for the Euros, all his like subscribers and all that commented on the England because England put it on their Instagram and he get, kept on getting tagged in it. And then he does like YouTube videos that like DM him footballs and he, and he DM me and he's like, he's good crack to be fair. <laughs> Yes, James, good lad. Gave us a little wait. For a long term ambition, I believe that can be Man City's number one and play for England be their number one. A very special guest, the Accrington Stanley goalkeeper on loan, of course, in Perrin Club in Manchester City. We're talking about our twin, James Trafford. Oh. Welcome to the channel again, lad. Oh, I feel blessed to be on the channel again. Oh, I'm blessed. 50 shots, Dogden takes on a. What are you on FIFA? 52 rated or something? 59, quite rate me, rate me. <laughs> How many can I score? Tell me, bro. Realistically, zero. Mate, what's it like being 59 rated on i I'd rather not be on the game. I'm, I'm happy I'm on it, but 59 rated is a shambles. Like, it's basically saying I've got like my hands tied together. If you had a message to EA, like just let it out on camera now, mate. Sort yourselves out. Like, I'm not 59 rated in real life. I'm slightly better. At not one point did I think we'd see him in a Bolton shirt in his career. It's unbelievable, if you ask me. So you never thought this would happen? Nah, never. It, uh, I thought he'd go to Stanley, get back to City, keep going up the ranks. The fact we've got an opportunity to sign him, I'm not only over the moon, I just think he's the perfect attitude and player for our football club. I'm so excited to what he can bring to the table. And man, like, the fact I've known this guy for three years now and he's signing for a club I support, I, it, it's crazy. It's amazing, isn't it? I know he's been in this room, in this apartment, playing yeah. PS4 with you. Literally, it's not just a footballer that's been on my channel. He's just a mate, like... Oh, friend! Oh, new friend! So, obviously, Theo, this is a lad. Was he the third or fourth choice at Man City, one of the biggest clubs in the world? Well, this is the funny thing. When we were going to the Champions League games last season, Chelsea against Man City, Champions League final last year, he's just chilling on the bench for City. So, clearly, Pep does like him because he wouldn't have him in and around the squad for such an important match. So, you can actually see in one of the videos when I'm waving at him from the stands in the Champions League final. He's got serious experience and learned big things from the best team in the world. That's brilliant. And I know he's a northern lad, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he is. He's from Cumbria. He's from Carlisle. Carlisle United. I think he was there in the ranks before he went to City. So he absolutely adores Carlisle. Theo is one of our own. He's one of our own now. How do you think he'll do, Dad? Well, Theo, I think it's an incredible move, having known the guy for a few years. Yeah. I just hope he lives up to expectations. Yeah. That is, of course, the main thing for Bolton fans. I think he's got a... I mean, will he get into the team early? Do you think I he'll think go he, straight into the team? Well, our keeper spot is a little bit wary at the moment. There's not really been an, an outstanding option. We've had a few losses over the last few weeks, but all the new signings like Morley, uh, Dion Charles, James Trafford, I think they're going to have a good positive morale and boost to the squad. So I'm really excited to see what can go down. Last time, all I'm going to say is League Two. We started off very 
very badly in January, made a few signings, and then we went on a great winning streak. We got promoted. I'm not saying we're going to happen there in League yeah. One because right now, if anything, we've got to make sure we get away from that relegation battle. But let's take it step by step. Let's see what we can do. I think we've got a good group of lads in that squad, good mentality. Thank you for watching this video. It's a short one, but it's like a storyline, and I really wanted to share it with you lot. Sean Dyche last year talked about look-alike. Is, is he the guy who looks the most like you? Well, you know what? When I've got short hair and he's got the similar trim, we look just alike because the face is very similar. But now it's just an ongoing joke. Like, we've got to keep it up, boys. My number one. Come on! See you in a bit. See ya.